Stop applying for cybersecurity jobs. I'm serious. If you've been sending out applications for months with no results, the problem isn't that you need more certifications or better interview skills. No, the problem is that you're trying to get hired for a job that doesn't actually exist. What do I mean? You see those entry-level cybersecurity analysts, right? Those positions that you keep applying for, most companies don't actually want an entry-level position for those roles. They want someone with three years of experience who is willing to accept entry-level pay. I'm told up by Michael and I've been hiring cybersecurity professionals for close to a decade. Today, I'm going to explain why the cybersecurity job market is broken and how to navigate it anyway. I'm going to show you why everything you've been told about getting your first cybersecurity job is backward and more importantly, what actually works. If this is your first time here, welcome. It's great to have you join us today. I post videos like this every week, so hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more of it. Let's start with reason number one, you are solving the wrong person's problem. Most people apply for cybersecurity jobs trying to solve their own unemployment problem. But hiring managers are not looking for people who need jobs. They're looking for people who can solve their sleepless night. Every cybersecurity hiring manager I know has the same recurring nightmare. They are getting called at 2 a.m. because something went wrong and the person they hired can't handle the pressure. They freeze up, blame others, or make the situation worse. So when I'm reviewing applications, I'm not looking for technical skills. I'm looking for evidence that you won't be the reason I lose sleep. Can you think clearly under pressure? Do you take ownership when things go wrong? Do you communicate bad news clearly instead of trying to hide it? This is why military veterans and people from high pressure service jobs, they often get hired over computer science graduates. It's not about cyber security knowledge, it's about stress response. Reason number two why you have not gotten your first job, you are competing in the qualification Olympics instead of the trust economy. Everyone thinks cyber security hiring is about who has the most certifications or the best technical skills. Now, here is what actually happens in the interview room. After the technical screening, every hiring decision comes down to one question. If this person discovers that our CEO's laptop is compromised, will they handle it professionally or create a panic? I've rejected candidates with perfect technical knowledge because they couldn't explain a complex issue without using acronyms. I've hired people with a limited experience because they understood how to communicate risk without creating chaos. The cybersecurity professionals who get promoted are the ones who make executives feel informed and in control, not the ones who make them feel stupid and helpless. The next reason, which is number three, you don't understand the blame distribution system. And I will tell you something nobody tells you about cybersecurity work. When things go right, the business get the credit. When things go wrong, cybersecurity and the person in charge of it, they get the blame. This creates a unique hiring dynamic. Managers need people who can absorb responsibility without becoming defensive or bitter. They need someone who can say, this happened on my watch. Here's what we're doing to fix it. Instead of explaining why it wasn't their fault, most cybersecurity job candidates present themselves as people who prevent problems. But what managers really need are people who can own problems that were probably inevitable anyway. You probably never thought of it that way. Yes, but it's one of those things that when you see it, you can't unsee it. Now, reason number four, you are auditioning for the wrong role. The thing is, most people think they are applying to be cybersecurity analysts, but what companies actually need are cybersecurity translators. What does that mean? 90% of cybersecurity work is explaining technical concepts to people who don't understand technology and don't want to understand technology. You'll be shocked at how much people don't really care about knowing the basics of security, even when they spend millions on it. They don't care. But you know what? Your job is to make systems secure. Your job is to make people feel secure about systems they will never understand. This requires a completely different skill set than what most people develop. Instead of studying advanced threat detection, you should be practicing how to explain why a security update is necessary without making people feel like they are being lectured. It sounds simple, but wait until you try it. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical and focused on real action. 
It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you'll binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought, I'm going to do something about that, and then didn't? That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support. Okay, we're not just learning, you're giving tasks, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Let's talk about reason number five, why you haven't gotten your first job. You are optimizing for competence instead of confidence. Do you want to hear the uncomfortable truth about cybersecurity hiring? Companies would rather hire someone who is 70% competent but 100% confident than someone who is 100% competent but 70% confident. Why? Because cybersecurity professionals spend most of their time reassuring stakeholders during uncertain situations. Now, if you don't project confidence, everyone else panics. And panicking stakeholders make bad decisions that create bigger security problems. This is why your interview performance matters most than your technical knowledge. It matters more than that. They are not testing whether you know the right answers. They are testing whether you can project calm authority when you don't even know the answers. I'll be real with you. A day comes in every security professional's career when nothing in the books applies to the situation that you're facing. Yes, and hiring managers know this too. So they make their choices based on that. Moving on to reason number six, you think experience means doing cybersecurity work, but hiring managers think experience means surviving cybersecurity work. Yes, every cybersecurity team has stories about people who seem perfect on paper, but they couldn't handle the emotional reality of the job. The constant alertness, the assumption that you're paranoid, the responsibility for problems that you can't completely prevent. And let's not forget the fact that when you succeed, you hardly get the thank you that you deserve. But of course, the failure is always public. Managers want to see evidence that you understand what you're signing up for and that you have coping mechanisms for the psychological aspect of cybersecurity work. They want to know that you won't burn out or become cynical. You know, because trust me, if you're not prepared, not even the cool salary will make you stay when you can't cope anymore. Finally, reason number seven, why you haven't gotten your first job. And this is the most important one. Listen to this. You are positioning yourself as a cost center instead of a business enabler. Now, let me explain what that means. Most cybersecurity job candidates talk about preventing attacks, stopping threats and protecting systems. But from a business perspective, cybersecurity's real value is enabling growth safely. Can we expand into new markets without exposing ourselves to new risks? Can we adopt new technologies without compromising what we've already built? Can we move faster without breaking more things? So the cybersecurity professionals get hired and promoted are the ones who help businesses say yes to opportunities and not the ones who help them say no to risk. I think the next question is, how do you actually make this work? And that would be a good question. Instead of mass applying to generic positions, identify five companies where you genuinely want to work. You want to learn everything about their security challenges. Then reach out with specific insight about how your background could help address those challenges. This approach takes more time per application, but it's infinitely more effective than sending the same resume to hundreds of generic postings. The cybersecurity job market is challenging, but it's not impossible. The people who succeed are the ones who understand that getting hired is about solving problems, not just demonstrating technical knowledge. So what is my most important advice for you? Stop trying to impress job postings and start proving you are the answer to someone's 2 a.m. nightmare. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to start thinking like someone who already belongs in the room. Trust me, this shift is enough to change everything for you, okay? 
And that will be it guys. So if this changed how you think about breaking into cyber security, hit that subscribe button because I share insights like this every week that you won't get anywhere else. Drop a comment below and let me know which of these seven reasons hit home for you the most. And in my usual manner, I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Let's keep winning. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical, and focused on real action. It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you'll binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought, I'm going to do something about that, and then didn't? That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support, okay? We're not just learning, you're giving tasks, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and land the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it.